Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, no messing about today. Storm Dennis is on its way and my window won't roll up. It won't do the last inch bit. And that's going to get very wet in there, I'll tell you that, with the sideways rain and the 50 mile an hour winds. And look at that, that's all heading our way. It's not looking good. Uh, we already had one of these and it knocked down all our fence panels and uh, that wasn't much fun either. So, I'm going to have to work out why the window isn't rolling up. And if I'd have thought it a, about it a bit longer, I could have worked this out quite easily. Because how it started was the alarm kept going off. I thought, that's a bit strange. So I started not uh, uh, setting the alarm, but I locked the door with the key. That seemed to fix that. And then a couple of days ago, I was whizzing along and... Uh, it was getting very windy and then I realised the passenger window hadn't fully gone upwards. It was in its sort of dropped position. OK, so what we're going to do first is going to remove the door panel. And I removed a lot of things I didn't need to have, but the door panel was one that had to come off. Now, if you want absolutely 100% information, have a look at uh, MeetNet um, where I'm changing the door cards. But... Yep, you undo two screws in the grab handle, uh, one screw for the door lever, and then you unpop a whole set of uh, plastic clips around the perimeter of the door. And what you do is you use a plastic trim tool to get the trim tool right around the clips. Otherwise, they do explode. And I did have one that exploded, and uh, that's a bit of a nuisance. But anyway, you go around them all, uh, poke them with a trim tool, and they'll eventually all come out. And then it's just a matter of pulling the door towards you. Um, the problem is, of course, you've got the door uh, pin. And so you have to, the way to do it properly is to do it from the front first. And I eventually realise that's what I need to do. And then pull it away and upwards over the door pin. There you go, I've managed it in the end. And then it's a case of disconnecting the, the lever switch, uh, lever cable, and then the tweeters and the door switches and the little light as well that uh, illuminates the... Well, it doesn't really illuminate, does it? There it is. I've pulled it out there. Yeah, that one which is meant to illuminate the hot, cold bit. Oh, no, on-off bit for the, um, for the vent. And uh, here we go. I'm going to pull away the vapour strip and unfortunately tear it i wasn't taking quite enough care and uh then i realized that that cable has to pull out of the clip so there we go have a look at that there we go cable pulls out of there there we go i've managed that quite successfully and then i thought well i'm gonna have to take the door handle off so i pop out this thing which is the hole so you can get to the sliding bit which holds the door handle in position It'll make sense in a second when I've managed to pop this off. But you need that access hole to put a screwdriver in. Um, another sort of tool would be much better. But, and you'll see what I mean. I've got to poke my screwdriver in there and sort of push that along. I've pulled the wire out and I've forgotten to, to put that back on again, to be honest. So good bashing. It's moved forwards. And now the plastics around for the door handle will come off. So I thought I was going to remove the whole door handle, so I was quite pleased that that came off eventually. And uh, then I thought it was the door micro switch, so I'm working that out. Pull that, yeah. And there's the micro switch. I can't see it from where I am. The camera can, but I can't. So I thought it's probably that micro switch. Um, but I was thinking, oh, there's lots of things up there I need to get to. I oiled all the rest of that where it's gone rusty before I put it all back together, by the way, so protect it a bit. But really, I wasn't quite sure what was causing the problem. What actually was causing the problem was the, the part of the door latch itself, which senses when the door's closed. And that's why the alarm kept going, uh, going off, because it kept thinking the door was opening and, of course, it's locked and the alarm would go off. So I'm having a good look around trying to decide what to do. And really, I came across by accident the solution, or the, the short-term solution anyway, so I definitely need to get that window up uh, before tonight. So, yeah, I was having a look at that, and that's the door, la uh, the handle switch. Um, and when you lift up the handle, it signals the general module to drop the window. And I thought it could be that. Um, 
and it could be the door hand the inside door handle itself there's a micro switch for that and I got sort of stuck on that for quite a while and then I sort of followed these wires down and there was a couple of inline connectors and so I started fiddling with those and it's quite interesting that when you disconnected one the window would roll up there we go I'm having a good look around moaning away um, having a look up there again I'm wasting my time really um, the circuit diagrams didn't really help because there's so many circuit diagrams that are prescient for this problem you've got obviously the central locking you've got the the power windows uh, general module and the central body electronics and it's actually the central body electronics that was affected because I did think it could be the general module so we do know that uh, those can go a bit weird and then the doors and the locks and the windows all go wrong but here we go I'm fiddling about and there we go I found a couple of connectors and I thought well I could buzz those out see if there's any problem there and it's actually that black connector there and what that does is that goes to the door latch itself and it senses you know, the mic switch in the door latch senses if the doors open and in which case if the doors open the window has to drop and here we go I'm experimenting actually the other way around yep it's got water in it so I thought well that's obviously the problem I put some WD-40 in there It's possible, yeah. It's the other way around. When you disconnect it, it goes up. There. Yeah, that's up. I got it the right way around that time. So that's working. So I didn't realise at the time, but I found the solution, certainly for tonight, which is to leave that disconnected, because then the, the central locking thinks the door's locked, uh, doors shut and it will roll up the window so we have probably got a micro switch failure in the latch um, and I'd have to remove the latch but I'm running really short on time because it's actually started to uh, rain a bit door closure yeah, to have a few experiments with it and it all starts working with it still connected uh, it's just so intermittent that was the problem one time it worked the next time it didn't um, so Okay, I'm going to try some WD-40 in here, and I'm sure that will cure it in that connector pair, but of course it, it didn't. Um, so yeah, there's some WD-40 in there, squish it back together and now push the WD-40 in, and so I go and try it. And yeah, that's working, that's working super, and then it stopped working. So I'd even put all the connectors back in, I was getting close to putting the door panel on, and then I got in the car and tried it a few times, shutting the door and it works, yeah, works now and then it stopped working. So I thought, well, disconnecting that black connector seems to fix the problem temporarily. Yeah, so I'm experimenting pulling the latch and seeing where the door what the window does. Yeah. It took a little while to work out that if I just disconnected that black connector, the window's going to roll up, but it will still roll down when you pull the internal catch or you lift the external handle. There is obviously a downside to it, and I'll go through that in a minute. Yeah, just messing about here. I haven't quite worked out what the problem is. Um, and I don't work it out until later uh, when I eventually find the right circuit diagram for it. And there it is. That shows uh, three, six, well, three, five, one. That shows the connector I'm playing with. And uh, eventually found it in the circuit diagram. Passenger door jam switch. And uh, in position one, the door's open. And position two, the door's closed. And so that means if I disconnect that connector, X351, uh, then it will think the door's closed. So, OK, I'm quite happy with that. I'll clean it all up and stick it all back together again, I think's the plan, and see what happens. Uh, but obviously I'm not uh, going to clean it up a bit first. And, of course, get, get, got to get the door handle back on again. Um, and that's a bit fiddly. What you do is you put the top over the handle 
and then you push the little rubber gaskets each side of the door handle they see what i mean i'm poking them in and once they're all in there you go clicks in clicks it in lovely and then i just got to bash that uh, sliding doofer back in so there we go bash that that's back in again quite happily so the the door handle plastic can't come off anymore and then i put the plastic end cap in yeah that's in happy with that and then i'm just going to leave that pair disconnected so i'll click them into the, the little brackets there we go quite happy with that they can stay in the brackets and the wire can just the wire can just dangle around in there somewhere that's i'm quite happy with that so really just a case of sticking it back together again and hoping that it does uh, keep working because it is really going to be stormy tonight. So refit the cable and it's a little cable guide. Stick the vapour barrier back on. I don't think it's going to stop much vapour to be honest. It was a bit wobbly to start with. So there we go, that's back in. Work of art, that's what I said to myself when I put this door panel on. Uh, the CSI panels are fantastic looking things. They do weigh quite a bit though, and uh, so it's a bit fiddly and uh, it took me a while to put it back on, especially when you're trying to balance it in one hand and connect everything up in the other, and it's getting getting very windy now, and uh, starting to rain a bit, so I'm really, I'm a bit panicky to be honest, I need to get the car back together. I could have left it together uh, with the door panels off, but uh, that's, I don't want to do that. I'll get it back in again, that would be the plan. I'm sort of moaning away as we do this. Click it all back in. And, uh, yeah, the top goes in first. So you give it a bit of a clap. Make sure it's all lined up nicely. That's what I'm doing there. Bap it back in again. I've got one uh, plastic catch that has failed. So going through my box, no, none of them fit. Got lots of clips, but none of them fit. So I'm going to have to make do with the, the other seven. And the way you do it is you find out exactly where the clip is. You put your hand underneath, you guide the plastic bit into the aperture and then you give it a whack and it will uh, stay in quite nicely. It takes a bit of a reiteration, I'd say. You go backwards and forwards and doing them and it's really getting windy now. There we go. That, that's just about them all in. Yeah, all looking lovely. Uh, door handle screw back in and it's cover. And... Fortunately, um, previous person who'd done this job, oh, there's the door pin back in, had put blue tack on the screws, which means they haven't fallen out into the between the leather parts, and that's what normally happens. And if you read my on MeekNet about the door panel change, uh, then you understand what I'm talking about. But I'm very happy to have got them in. Uh, yeah, I'm very surprised as well, because that's usually a problem. Plastic bits in. That door handle can't be left like that with WD-40 on it. I'll give it a quick clean up. That looks lovely. And, of course, let's check it. There we go. Drops every time. Shut the door. Goes up. Open the door and leave it for a few seconds. And, of course, it will go up because it thinks the door's closed. There you go. Goes up because it thinks the door's closed. And I practiced that on the driver's door as well. Um, so I wanted to make absolutely sure I hadn't remembered it incorrectly and yeah you open the driver's door as soon as you touch the latch the window drops down and you leave it open and it will not go back up again so there we go i'm all quite happy with that give it a quick clean up a few drops of rain around now but uh yeah everything's fine put that away have a few more tries with the door handle just to make sure it's going to work there we go leave it open and it's up there you go so can you shut the door with it up well there's no need i mean i had a quick practice of this the door does actually shut with it still up but as soon as you touch the door handle it will stay down for a few seconds and so i'm gonna have a practice see if the door shuts with it up there we go give it a light push yeah they go go in all right and i've had this problem with the other window where it doesn't drop down but if you lift up the door handle and open it if you close it quite quickly you're yeah, fine and just in time look at the state of that thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time